Good morning, everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. I see that my glasses are a little dark. I'm sorry about that. I was just outside. Today's a very exciting day. Uh, I created a video uh, for the class that I'm teaching on Sunday, which is an affirmation deck of cards. I want to do a huge shout out to uh, Seth Apter. I took his class several months ago and he rang my bell. Uh, this is my spin on the deck of cards that he guided me through. So, Seth, thank you very much for your inspiration and thank you for ringing my bell. I have a lot of fun with these cards. And today is, I think today's the 20th, 21st, something like that. Class is on Sunday. There's still room uh, for people if you are in the area. Michael's at Vallejo, in Vallejo and you can uh, visit my website and you can enroll right there. Um, there's a link to Michael's and you can enroll right there on my website. So that's very exciting. I did paint my nails. I didn't have my nails painted for the video. I was so excited to get in there and play that I knew if I painted my nails it would hold me up and <laughs> I was not willing to do that. Another exciting thing is the t-shirts came yesterday. Yay! They are aubergine. This is a large. Look at that. Can you see that? And this is what's on the back. <laughs> there we go. Lori Marie. Hashtag underpants. And here's the front. Go create, go play, go have fun. It's a very soft t-shirt, uh, very comfortable t-shirt. And I sell those for, I have small, medium, large, extra large, and 2XL. Uh, the 2XL are $22, the other ones are $20. So if you would like one of those to strut your hashtag underpants, uh, please let me know. Very, very fun. So, all right. Uh, video, yes. Uh, Seth after, yes. T-shirts, yes. I think that is... Oh, I got some happy mail. Let me just... Hold on. I got some amazing happy mail this week. Sherry sent me some happy mail. Uh, napkins, papers, things like that. Just gorgeous. Thank you so much. And uh, Jenny sent me um, some fun papers and also their uh, paper, leather paper. I'm not familiar with it, so that'll be fun to play with. And she also sent me a, a Nick Bantock book. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the happy mail. You know uh, it's always appreciated here. And if I can't use it, I share it with others. So, all right, pretty chatty this morning, lots of excitement, lots to say. See you on the table. So this is our project for today. This is what I'm teaching for the next couple Sundays at the local Michaels here in Vallejo, California. And they are um, inspiration cards. I have very messy hands right now. Uh, but it's one on this end and two on this end. So you would go through, there's 15 cards. So it'll take you about a month to go through them. This is I Release the Past. So after I read the first one, I would flip it over and stick it in the back of the deck for the two to be showing next time. And then the next time I found this card, it would be I am treating myself and my loved ones with respect. So this was a lot of fun. Uh, alcohol inks, acrylics, cuddle bug, um, stencils. The cards I used are two and a half by five and a half. They fit in this box quite nicely. And the box we built together as well. All right, I am going to create a template for the box for our inspiration deck. This is the template for the box that will hold the um, affirmation deck. And I'm just going to cover both sides with gesso because I want it to be 
Um, I want it to grab the paint or the ink as we go forward. So I'll put gesso on one side, let that dry, and then I will turn it over and paint gesso on the other side. If you are a Patreon member, I will be sending you the measurements or a picture, really a PDF of the uh, template, the box template. That side's dry. Now we'll put gesso on this side. Okay, good morning. You know it's dark o'clock. Yoga has been done. Coffee in hand. Just kissed, kissed handsome hubby goodbye. And now I get to play on the table. So I uh, gessoed these cards. These are the wine inserts. Um, the little grids that are inside the wine boxes that hold the bottles from banging against each other. And these particular pieces are two and a half by five and a half. All right, those should fit well in our box. And I don't know how many are going to fit in the box yet. We'll find out as we go forward. I'm just using my little zutter cutter, which I cannot find anymore, sorry. And I'm going through these and I'm just going to trim off the corners. That's artist's choice. You can have square corners or you can have the round corners. There's a couple coats of gesso on each side of these cards so that they will grab their future inks. So I'm covering my jelly plate with hand sanitizer and I am going to add some alcohol ink. You gotta kinda move fast because you don't want the um, hand sanitizer to dry, You're depending on its juiciness to keep the colors fluid. And you'll take your cards, mush them down. And if they need more color, you'll just take it back through and blot it up. At this, po at this point, I am going to take a baby wipe and just wipe this down. Otherwise, it can get kind of, your inks can get kind of muddy. And I'm going to do it again. Hand sanitizer. Spray that down. alcohol inks and lay these cards down again picking up stuff from my jelly plate like that grungy stuff love that while you have your inks and your jelly plate all full of color and hand sanitizer, you will want to do your box as well. Beautiful. Now we'll right, I'm going to let these dry while I gather a stencil and uh, some acrylic paint 
and a blending sponge. Now this is a Nickel Azo Gold by Golden. I'm bringing in my uh, blending sponge and I'm going to bounce some color on these. I put all the cards together and the uh, box and I'm just going to go around and add some color. So I've done all the cards. I'm just going to flip them over and do the same thing on the other side. Turn them over and let's play some more. Alright, I'm bringing in the uh, green gold and another stencil. And this one I'm just going to do some places, crossing over from card to card. This is a fluid acrylic, so it kind of goes into the stencil a little bit. Oh, that's all right. We're just going for color. All right, what we're doing here is we're kind of treating it as one art piece, so there's not you're not individualizing the cards. So you're just overlapping the stencil and just decorating the cards. All right, I'm going to flip these over and do the same thing on the other side. All right, now I'm bringing a turquoise in and my palette knife, and I'm just going to add some, another layer of colors, treating this as one art piece. I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. All right, we're going to let them dry. Now I'm going to bring in my black stays on ink pad and just a pattern rubber stamp. And here again, I'm just going to go across the lines of the different cards and just add a little bit of a design. So I have a box of fun images. A lot of them are Nick Bantock images from Dina Dana. Thank you. And I'm just going to put an image on the back of each card. Going more for the colors than what the actual image is. Remember to do your box as well with some fun images. And when you've got all your images on that you want, let it dry. So this is a great time to take a break and let all of your cards and your box dry because the next thing we're going to do is put it through the cuddle bug, so we want them pretty dry. While I'm waiting for those to dry, I'm going to go around the edges of all of the tags, all of the cards, with my Stabilo. Do you guys remember when my nails looked nice all the time? <laughs> I remember that too. Now, if you are a doodler, this is a great time to add markings. To your cards. So just go through and have some fun. I'm going to come back through with my non-dominant hand and just add some circles. Now we should be just about ready for that cuddle bug. I'm going to choose this swirly envelope, this swirly folder, and I'm going to place my page in there, my card in there, 
and run that through the cuddle bug. All right, the unveiling. There it is. And I want all my cards to have the same pattern going the same way. I want all the embellishments to be uh, on the same groove, so to speak. So I will make sure that the circles, the um, markings, are on the side with the brand, uh, which is a Doris. So I'll just go through all of my cards, keeping the marking side up in the uh, embossing folder. Now the box is a little bit big. I'm okay with that. I'm just going to put the put it in the folder, center it the best I can, and run it through the first way in the cuddle bug this way. Take it out of the folder and turn it around. And I'm just going up to where the embossing started and I'll run this through the cuddle bug. And that is all embossed as well. I'm going to bring in my stays on ink and just hit the top of those embossings. So this is the box, and I will do that to all of the pages as well. And yes, I'm going to go on the other side and catch that embossing as well. Aren't these gorgeous? Oh my goodness. All right, let's stumble through uh, making the box. You can decide which side you would like as your exterior. I'm going to go with this side as my exterior. I'm going to place my ruler on those cut areas of the box. Same thing on the side. Go to where that cut area is. Fold that up and fold that up. You know how precise I am, so I'm sure this is going to turn out perfectly. Take your bone folder to those creases. My intention is to use glue dots to hold it in place while it dries, but we'll see if the glue dots will even stick to all this yumminess. So tacky glue, glue dot, fold this up, secure it in place, we'll do the same thing on the other side, tacky glue, glue dot, bottom up. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put tacky glue on here, a glue dot here, 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 and here. Fold that up. I have some hair bands. So the hair band will hold that in place while it dries. Let's see how many cards we can fit in here. Isn't that fun? So it looks like 15 cards, 15 affirmation cards, will fit in your box. So you'll have a deck of 15 cards. Now since I can fit 15 cards in the box, that means if it's a month with 30 days, you can go through these uh, twice. So what I would like to do is make a top and a bottom affirmation, which I will add in a moment. But what I'm going to do is I am going to put a one 
at the top of these pages and a two at the bottom of these pages. So when you go through it the first time of the month, you'll be going through it with the one, then you'll flip it over, and then it'll be the two. I'm going to Mod Podge those down. And if I put Mod Podge on the top of that sewing pattern, which I used to put the numbers on, then that will become practically transparent and all we will see is the number one or the number two. Okay, so I've gone to the computer and I wrote out some affirmations and I printed them on some, uh, some pages so that they didn't look brand new. So I've got my vintage uh, Distress Ink and a makeup pad and I'm just going to go through here and just add a little bit of color to some of these um, affirmations. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to Handsome Hubby's printer and I'm going to make copies of this. Okay, so these are the copies that I just ran through. They look really nice. And the uh, printer paper will glue down easier than the paper that I uh, printed on the old pages. This will melt more onto our um, affirmation cards. So I'm going to bring my ruler in and I'm going to tear some of these beautiful affirmations. So here is uh, the affirmation card one. All right, so I want the first one here. I deserve love, success, and happiness. Okay, and there's my two. So here is my second affirmation. I am willing to ask for help when I need it. Now I only put affirmations on three cards. You get the idea. And then if you would like, you can go back over the affirmations and uh, blend them in a little bit with Stabilo. This is totally artist's choice. And here is our delicious affirmations deck. You can put some words on here, words of inspiration on here. I only did a few cards with you today. Isn't that box gorgeous? And these are the cards. So here's one and two. So our first affirmation is I release the past. I deserve love, success, and happiness. I always achieve more than expected. Then I don't have any on here. And then for the second side, so these would be in the box like this. And then as you take it out and read it, then you would put it back in the box with the two exposed. All right. And then the second time around would be, I am treating myself and my loved ones with respect. I am healthy, whole, and complete. I'm willing to ask for help when I need it. So I have a couple sheets of the affirmations that I used. These are just beautiful. I'm very happy with these. I only did, like I say, I only did a few. Otherwise I would be all, here all day and you would not be seeing this video yet. So your turn. Lots going on. So much fun. Go create. Go play. Go have fun.